As Bitcoin battles hard at the 200-day moving average, harder than you battle for your parents' love and affection. Do the bulls have the juice in their caboose to bend over, smooch, and wipe the bear's bottoms once and for all? And is Van Eck crazy for this mega-big Bitcoin price prediction? Crazier than you for believing that Baby Doge Reach Around 69 coin will make you rich. But what this Bitcoin super indicator means is absolutely disgustingly big. Bigger than your mom's disgusting belly after chugging down three half-price apps at Applebee's while she criticizes you for spending all of your allowance on Dogecoin and holding it down to what will eventually be zero. Because that guy who was on the news for getting lucky and buying Dogecoin before Elon pumped it told you not to sell, and now you're down so much money that you have to go to Applebee's with your mom because you're too broke to buy your own dinner. This isn't just big. It's very big. I'm your host, Sauce and Beans. And as many of you know, it's April Fool's Day, widely known as the literal worst holiday on the planet. And no, I will not be making a video telling you that I sold my Bitcoin because that would be a lie. But I will tell you that your mom and I had a great time at Mickey D's last night. And you already know that I made her pay for my McNuggies. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, turn on those ghost notifications so you never miss these absolute time sensitive alerts as well. If you guys are interested in bonuses, deals, staking with our ADA pool to earn rewards, uh, uh, trading, getting altcoins, make sure to check out all the bonuses below, securing your crypto. And my only Twitter and only Instagram are in the description below. Every other account is a fake, a fraud, a phony, absolute baloney. Uh, so without any further ado, let's... Uh, jump in ginormous as bitcoin once again continues to consolidate below this 200 day moving average this is very big for bitcoin ethereum in the exact same spot below this 200 day moving average um ada still quite a bit away from that actually um from its 200 day moving average so a long way to go for ada but bitcoin and ethereum looking absolutely very big and as well let's take a look at dumpy dogecoin what an absolute piece of trash let's see here down 80 percent. yeah good riddance am i right let's see how far uh Ethereum is down here. Um, okay, 28% and Bitcoin from all-time highs is no, 30%. So I guess uh, it looks like somebody took out the garbage and uh, well done. So absolutely very big here for Bitcoin. And before we jump into the price action and charts for Bitcoin, let's take a look at this mega big news and a few other big things. Bitcoin's guppy indicator flashes green for the bulls. Uh, Bitcoin's two-month rally may have legs to continue here with a very historically reliable indicator flashing green to signal trend following traders here. So the GMMA, the Guppy Multiple Moving Average uh, Indicator, which combines two groups of uh, moving averages to analyze different periods of the market on multiple time frames, has produced a bullish crossover. And we saw this actually uh, this week. It has finally confirmed a bullish crossover. The previous times this happened were in the 2021 lows and then the April 2021 market high, with both leading to multi-month trend reversals. Okay, reversals in the trend. And the trend has no doubt been dumpy for the past few months. So if this trend would be to reverse... This would be a very pumpalicious, absolutely mega pumpy, uh, rumpy, upside, pumpy, 100%. Uh, while past performance is no guarantee of future results, since, uh, seasonality analysis supports the case for the latest bullish, bullish signal paving the way for more substantial gains in the coming weeks. Absolutely bigger than big. Bitcoin drops to 45k support, as analysts point out, seasonally bullish April month ahead for Bitcoin. Okay, And what do we mean by that? Well... Uh, April has been a seasonally bullish month for Bitcoin. I believe seven of the last 10 years for Bitcoin were bullish in the month of April. So that's indeed uh, very big. Yeah, asset seven out of the past 10 years, Bitcoin has chalked up gains here. Uh, no one knows for sure what the explanation for this is, April's bull. Uh, but some speculate that it's a psychological phenomenon tied to the beginning of spring. And again, if there's one field of study that I think lends itself more to market analysis than anything, uh, is literally psychology. Market is just psychology on a mass scale, or markets are just psychology on a mass scale, human psychology on a mass scale. Um, you know, we take, we get a bunch of, um, we get a bunch of basement boys and moon boys looking at these triangles. Guess what? They actually start playing out because everyone's looking at these same things. Uh, I'll, I think there's more to it than that, obviously, I think, but for the most part, that is a silly and fun and somewhat accurate way of summarizing this. Um, Self-fulfilling prophecies, absolutely. Um, but then also, Vanek predicting Bitcoin to be worth at least 1.3 million if considered global reserve currency. Why not even 1.3 billion? Am I right? Absolutely very big. Uh, the firm believes that in an extreme scenario where gold or Bitcoin becomes the reserve currency of the world, the value could even reach 1.3 trillion. <laughs> Just kidding. 1.3 million to almost 5 million. Wow. Absolutely 
uh, bigger than your mom's appetite. And also, the current geopolitical situation has led various economic analysts to surmise that the rising political tensions will give rise to a new monetary order where Bitcoin and gold play more dominant roles. Now, that is pretty big. According to Van Eck, the extreme implied price of more than 1 million was calculated by using the aggregate money M1 or MO and M2 money supply and dividing it by the global gold or Bitcoin reserves in a scenario where they are glo uh, the globe's go to reserve assets. Um, Peter Schniff is sniffing his pants right now. And um, yeah, Bitcoin pretty much, again, we've been talking about this for like the last week, you know, a retest, like with every triangle breakout. I don't even think it's out of the cards if we went back down to 40. I think that'd be fine. You might not like that I just said that, but I'm saying like over the next week or two, if we came back down here, I wouldn't care that much. I'd still think that would be a absolutely fine scenario for us to uh, continue higher. Can you maybe come back and down and test this 21 and 50? I don't think that's the most likely scenario, but all I'm saying is if that would happen, a lot of people would be crying and creaming uh, in the bad way. And I don't think you should be. I think, uh, you know, the market moves way crazier than that before reversals. So again, that wouldn't be anything that bad. Again, clear right now, the 200 day is that next thing to, to breach. Um, and as well, uh, right now we are battling the 21 and 50 day moving averages right at this level. So we are trying to flip this as support on the weekly chart, but uh, everything screams very good to me. All of this looks very good. We've been talking about this crossover for months and we've gotten it. We're, it's still in play. It's a slow process, but this is the type of scenario where we can start to get a little excited because we can start seeing these moves accelerate a lot. And I think that's what a lot of you are excited about as well the possibility of these moon boys accelerating. But then as well, we have absolute garbage doggy coin, Dogecoin, and all of its babies, baby Dogecoin, 69, Shiba coin, all of that. Uh, <coughs> um, the only reason this pumped was because of literally a billionaire's tweets, Elon Musk tweeting. And um, yeah, this bad boy is not going anywhere unless Elon starts putting the, the fingers on the Twitter button, on the Twitter fingers, and starts tweeting it to all-time highs, which again, has always been a silly way to invest, is uh, putting your entire savings into the hands of a man if he decides to be bullish on a, a coin or not uh where there's literally zero fundamental value um i know people you i guess i won't keep talking about dogecoin it's just such garbage and um yeah bitcoin absolutely very good and um yeah looking very ready to bust uh, i think we're gonna have at least a few months of upside um even if this trend does not bring us to all-time highs and even if uh we are in the a macro bigger downtrend which i don't believe uh, this amount of consolidation is very good, healthy, and lends itself to maximum pumpage confirmed. Thank you guys on YouTube. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the absolute time sense of life as well. If you guys have any bonuses, deals, securing your uh, crypto, getting altcoins, trading, make sure to check out all of the links in the description below. And uh, yeah, without any further ado.